dress is actually in today's class. I'm going to be learning how to make this beautiful kimono jacket, also called an afterwear. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. This is something you like to learn. Kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so this is a simple kimono. It's also you can also call it an afterwear. I'm using around a yard. My fabric is just a little above a yard, so I think a yard and five inches. So it's going to be small. So I folded my fabric into four because I'm cutting the front and back together. And then the open part here is what I'm going to be using at my center front because the center back is going to be closed while the center front is going to be open. So all you just need to do, all you need to get is your shoulder measurement. My shoulder measurement is seven and a half. That's fifteen divided by two. And then you get your sleeve measurements after that so ideally it should be around your elbow area about 10 inches thereabouts but because i have little fabric so i have around seven inches so that's what i'm going to be using so all together here i just have about 15 inches thereabouts and then the length of this kimono is around 39 inches so if you want yours to be longer than that but i'm just managing the fabric because i have just about three yards and i already made the palazzo from this so i'm going to be wearing this on the palazzo and i already have a tutorial on how to draft and sew a palazzo trouser on the channel so if you don't know how to you can check it there so the neckline measurement that i'm working with is three inches by one inch for the back and then i'm going to be shaping the front neckline later and then here i'm going to go down by one and a half inches for my shoulder slope okay so after that you take your ruler and then connect from your shoulder to your neck point okay so for my sleeve opening so that's how wide you want your sleeves to be you can measure where that is going to be but for me i think i'm just going to open it by about 10 inches 9 to 10 inches or thereabouts i don't want it too tight and then on this point depending on how fitted you want it to be you can take your bust measurement divided by four so if after taking your bust measurement divided by four mine is 44 divided by four is 11 inches here so i'm going to add extra allowance to it so you can have between two three or four inches depending on how much fabric you have but like i said i have very little fabric so i'm just going to add about two inches to it and then this is the leftover that i have for my sleeve so now this measurement that i have here that's my bust 11 plus two that's the 10 inches i'm going to take it all the way to the m okay so if you have enough fabric and you want this to be free so you can see i'm just making it in form of an a-line because i want it to be really free but my fabric is not that much so on this point where i have this intersection here i'm just going to make a curve because you don't want it to be too sharp and that is about everything you need to do so now i'm going to bring in my scissors and then cut this out so after cutting it out i'm going to shape my front neckline so i have cut the side as you can see now i'm cutting my back neckline as well as my shoulder slope okay so this other side is folded as you can see so i'm just going to open it up there so here i'm opening it up on this side so after cutting it now what i'm going to do now is to remove the back that's the folded point and then work on the front neckline okay so i'm just going to cut this completely and then now i can work on my front so for the front neckline i'm going to measure a neck depth of about seven to nine inches remember i already took out one for the back so here i'm measuring around eight inches which stops here and then i'm going to connect to my neck point to form like a v neckline okay so after connecting it now i'm going to cut it off and that is going to be the shape that i have for my front remember this part is already opened so this is what i have now so this is what the front looks like what the front looks like now you can see the v shape and then it is in two places so now i'm going to bring the back and then i will lay it on the front so after laying the back on the front i'm going to take it to the sewing machine now and then join it together on the shoulder so i'm going to join the shoulder together as well as the side 
so after joining the shoulder and the side together i'm going to aim it on the on the sleeve area and then on the hem of the dress then i'll bring you back to show us how we're going to pipe the neckline with a band okay so i have joined it together on the shoulder but just us to show us to make it easier for for aiming the sleeve so it's better after joining it on the shoulder as you can see this is the shoulder seam you can just hem your sleeve first before you fold it and then sew the the side seam because the sleeve opening here because the extension here is very small it may be a bit difficult to to aim if you join the shoulder for that's why i just like to aim the sleeve while it's still open then after that i'm going to go ahead and join it together on the two side seams so i have joined it on the side seam the next thing now is to measure around the neckline to create our band so what you just need to do is to measure from the hem of the center front all through this opening and then round the neckline to the back and then you measure to the hem of the front again so measuring mine now um, i have about eight eight inches so you measure from here then you take it all the way to the neckline and then to the back and then you take it back to the hem okay so i have done this before and then i have about 87 88 inches so i'm just going to round it up to 90 inches if you have excess you can cut it off so i'll cut a long strip of fabric which is going to be about 90 inches long and then the width is going to be my one inch band so on the fold you are going to have two inches and then i'm going to use a little to aim it because i don't have enough fabric so i have cut out the fabric i want my band to be a little bolder so instead of two inches i cut about four and half inches there about so by the time i fold it together and i use half an inch to sew on both sides i will still have about one and a half inches for my band so now the band is 19 inches long like i said the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and sew this round the measured area so here from here now i'm going to sew it first on the out from the inner part okay so after sewing it on the inner part you're just going to flip it over now and then fold in your same allowance and then fold on the right side so that you're going to have your band like this so i'll take it to the same machine now and then sew it around my neckline then after sewing it around the neckline i'll bring it back for us to see what this looks like okay so i have taped the neckline around with my band and you can see that it is neatly concealed now so you can see everything is neatly concealed now and also i hemmed it on the lower side so it is neatly hemmed as well so now i'll take this to the mannequin so that we can see what it looks like what the jacket is looking like so you can actually use any color a plain color of fabric to tape the neckline if you want something constructing especially if you use the under color for your trouser and then the tutorial on how to make a palazzo trouser is already on the channel so if you don't know how to make it you can check that out so this is the full view of the kimono and you can see how beautiful it came out i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye